The homeowners have been here for 10 years. They bought it and just moved in with the products that they had. Fast forward 10 years later, we decided to really reimagine the space to get it to a point where they can really enjoy it, entertain in it, and allow their family to grow in it. So the kitchen cabinetry was a dark red. They had a little tiny island that they would congregate around. It didn't allow for much prep space, and it was a U-shaped kitchen. So they wanted something that reflected their own style. The island that we designed for them is able to accommodate for breakfast and dinner. We also have bar still seating around the perimeter, so that allows for a lot more flexibility around the space. And we wanted to introduce bankhead seating that's actually integrated into the island. The homeowners were really enthusiastic about trying to accommodate as many as possible. And I think that we've accommodated that. The kitchen is quite expansive. We have the cooking zone, which is behind the island. We have a beautiful wolf stovetop. We decided not to go with your typical subway towel. We want something a little more decorative, a little bit more contemporary. So we ended up going with an arabesque style tile. The tile has a lot of dimension and glossy finish to it, so it really pops well against the white cabinetry. Then we have our central area for hot water, cold water, and additional sink for prep. This area is to house all of their glassware, their stemware, their teas, their coffees, and have their morning espresso. And then the fourth zone is the pantry, and it's all laid out to house all of their small appliances, recycling, as well as a desk for additional meal prep. And we have an additional fridge in the pantry as well for all the overstock that they purchase for all their big events. We decided to make the space reflect a bit of farmhouse feel with modern aspects. So we added a white maple three inch tongue and groove to the ceiling just to warm up the space, add a nice accent and tie in the family room to the kitchen. The family room before was similar in size. However, the layout did not work. They had the original fireplace, but no built-ins, nowhere to house a television. So what we did was we warmed up the space, we built a stone wall, we created a limestone mantel and cabinetry that was darker than the kitchen, but allowed us to really create a den-like feel in the space. We decided to go with an oversized couch. The client wanted to maximize the depth and the width and the length of the space. And we outfitted that by adding in also two ottomans that acted as coffee tables, as well as some warmer elements like the leathers and the soft tones of blues and purples. Again, just to warm it up and make it feel like a cozy den. So we finished this about seven to eight months ago and they've been enjoying it and living in it and having all their holidays in it. Now it actually is reflective more of their style and their comfort and their use. Really a better sense of form and function in their space.